Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a rock text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new document 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And I'm going to select the type tool, left click on the artboard and type my text. So in this tutorial, my text is going to say rock and I'm just going to center this to the artboard both vertically and horizontally. Next, select a font of your choice. So I'm going to be using ASAP Bold and you can go into the character panel and adjust any other settings until you're happy. Once you're totally happy with your text, just go up to type at the top and down to create outlines with your text selected. This will then render it no longer text that is editable in Illustrator and instead it is now a series of shapes. So once you've done that, if you go over to your texture, if you have a vector of your texture, that's fantastic. If you don't, don't worry, we're going to be doing this with a JPEG from scratch. So this texture is a JPEG. If you have it black and white, the image trace feature will work a lot better. So with your texture selected, go to object, down to image trace, and select make or you can access this from the top of Illustrator so just select image trace and Illustrator very politely lets you know that this may take some time depending on your computer so you may need a quite a powerful computer to do this quickly so if we do get any long loading bars like this I'll try and fast forward them in the video so once it's finished tracing the image you should have this now as a vector. So we can zoom in and see that it's done a pretty good job of tracing this and we can select this little image trace panel icon here and we'll get a few extra options. Now what we're going to look at is the threshold. So if we increase the threshold it will capture more of that original image. So if we set this at 241 you'll see that as it reloads the image it will bring in a little bit more detail. So you can adjust that slider and these settings until you're happy. Once you're happy, just close down this panel and with your vector image trace selected, you can click expand or you can access this from the top, go to object, down to expand. Just make sure the object and fill are selected and click OK and it will then expand this live trace into a series of shapes, very complex shapes. Now before we do anything else, select the magic wand tool and just click anywhere outside of the artboard to deselect that selection. Now select an area that is black, so this is the effect that we want to keep. And then go to Edit, Cut, and it will cut that to the clipboard. And then if you press Command or Control A, you should see that it's left behind loads and loads of anchor points. Just hit Delete or Backspace, and then go to Edit and Paste in Place and it will paste back in the vector graphic that we cut to the clipboard a moment ago. Now, if this has been done correctly, you should now have a fill here. And you can then change this to a different color if you like. If the whole graphic changes color, congratulations, you've done that bit correctly. And then what we're going to do, one last step, just make sure everything is selected go to Pathfinder and then Unite. That's the top left option. Again, this may take a moment. Go to Object, down to Compound Path and select Make. When we use this in a moment to apply this to our text effect, we want to make sure that this is absolutely recognized all as one path. Otherwise, it might start blending single parts of the image and not treat this as a whole. So once you've done all that, just go to edit, copy, and now we're ready to bring this in to our main file. So we have our text here and just go to edit and paste in place. And we may need to zoom out because this image is absolutely huge. That is a big image. I don't think my computer is going to thank me after this tutorial. Okay, so let's just scale that down. So 
So now we can preview how our rock text effect is going to look. We just select the effect. I'll bring that down a little bit more. The smaller you do make it, the finer the texture is going to be on your text. So let's bring that down nice and small. And then we can just select white as the fill color, which matches the background. And then we can preview how it looks over our text. And what we can also do is we can rotate our texture and move it around and just see how it's actually going to preview. So you can see that now we've rotated the texture, it's applied slightly differently and a bit more of the K over here has been cut away. So we're just going to hold shift and scale this down a little bit now. Just so this covers the letters R and O. And because we've scaled that down quite a lot more, you'll see the texture is a lot finer as well. And then what we can do is select our texture and hold Alt and drag this over and it will create a copy. So the goal here is that in making the texture finer, we'll get a bit more detail on the K. So what you'll need to do next is select both of the textures because we now have two. And with them both selected in the Pathfinder panel, select Unite, that's the top left option. And then again, go to Object, Compound Path, and select Make, just to make sure that they are treated as one single shape. So once you're happy with your texture effect and positioning, just select that compound path that we just created, go to Edit and Cut, and select your rock text, and go to Object and Compound Path, just to make sure that this is also treated as one single object because otherwise you can apply the texture effect in a moment and it will only apply it to a single letter. So this just makes sure that it will apply this effect to the whole word. So we have one compound path which is our text and if we go to edit and paste in place we have another compound path which is our rock texture effect. So now what we do is with the text underneath and the rock texture effect on top, just drag over both of these elements and then in the Pathfinder panel, select minus front, also known as subtract. So it's the second one in. Now this is the moment of truth. If you've done everything correctly and I hope I have here, we will see if it removes the rock texture effect from the text itself. Fantastic, it looks like it's worked. That's always good when you're recording a tutorial. And you can test this by pressing Command or Control Y to go into outline mode. And you'll see that it's only left us with the texture applied to the lettering. So there's no texture or anything around the edge and this is a nice clean finish. And we can select that text. And again, from the color picker, we can start picking different colors and it will apply it to all the wording. So let's go ahead and select our text and we'll pick a color and then we can select the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a background and then go to object arrange center back and then also give this a color. And then we can select our finished rock texture effect and just make sure that this is horizontally and vertically central on the artboard. And there we go, that's how to design a rock text effect in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.